Uh, around the mm, 1400s, uh, frescoes were sort of reaching their heyday and more technology and discovery were, was being made regarding color and shadow, light and perspective. And this gave rise to a new school of painting known as trompe l'oeil, which is French for trick the eye. This was wildly popular in churches. Uh, at the time, the church was really the only institution with enough money to commission these paintings. As you can see, we've got this beautiful carved niche in the wall with the, a crucifixion scene. However, if you look closely, you'll see that everything on this picture has been painted. All the architecture, the drapery, every element is painted. It's all an illusion. Now, this was wildly popular because obviously, why pay the millions and millions and millions it would take to actually build a structure like this when you could simply paint something that would look just as real? Uh, this tradition continues to this day. and. Um, this is sort of the, the school that, that I have studied, and my goal is to continue to perfect my art as a trompe l'oeil artist to the point that you, know, you can look at a, a painting and you realize that you're looking at a painting. And that's sort of the, the whole goal of trompe l'oeil.